This is NAM 2019. It's press preview day, and we're talking with Chris here at Roland. And uh, Chris, Roland is very well known, and actually for having video switchers, and people, their musician clients and customers don't really know about that, but maybe they will with this new product that seems to be be uh, targeted at the narcissist musician who wants to be uh, on uh, social media, on YouTube. And uh, you have a video here of, uh, of a woman uh, playing in her bedroom because we know that because there's a bed there. Yes. And she's uh, streaming online to an invisible audience. A am I getting the product correct here? Yeah, in so many words, yes. It was uh, the VR1 HD was inspired by uh, live content creators. So that could be uh, musicians, as we're showing here at NAMM. Uh, it could also be the uh, YouTuber or the vlogger. Uh, and also, uh, as we showed at CES a few weeks ago, uh, the Twitch game the gamer. Uh, so taking a gaming console with some cameras, mixing it all together, and streaming it out for Twitch. So how many video in inputs can this take uh, and then switch live for uh, streaming purposes? So we have three total uh, video inputs. Uh, all three of them are, are on HDMI. So it can be cameras, computers, game consoles, anything you can get to an HDMI, uh, the VR1 HD will accept. Okay, and so the, the, in practice, this, uh, so how is it, so this is connected to a computer for the purposes, uh, or is it Wi-Fi, or how does it work? Yeah, so to stream out, we connect it via USB 3.0 from the VR1 to a PC or a Mac. The advantage of USB 3 for us is that the PC or Mac sees it as a webcam, and which means you don't have to download or install any additional applications or software. Uh, it's very easy, uh, very easy to get going. Okay, so uh, with this device, how much is it, by the way? Uh, 1,500 US. That's actually kind of expensive for uh, the narcissist musician, <laughs> but... Uh, so is this, is this the lowest price uh, video switcher that Roland has? I know you have a whole line of them. It, it is one of the lowest, not, not the lowest, but one of the lowest. It is the lowest on our VR series, which is our uh, live streaming series of products. Okay, and is this a new, a new type of product for Roland or something you've already uh, gotten involved with? So, so as you mentioned uh, earlier, you know, we, we've been doing uh, video switchers and video mixers for uh, quite some time. Uh, and the VR series, this is our first entry into the consumer, prosumer market. Uh, all the other products in the, in the line have been really targeted toward the professional. What, so it, you can switch three video inputs, uh, cameras or whatever. Uh, what else can you do with it? So one of the uh, most interesting features and the thing I like most about it is uh, on the video side is we have a mode called auto switch mode. And so what we're showing here is uh, the automatic switching of, uh, of the cameras based on the tempo or the music of, of the video that you're watching. So we call it beat sync. Uh, and basically, I like to say we put robots inside our, inside our mixer, uh, automatically switching it. So it's really designed for the, uh, act, the uh, performer who is also the director. So hands off. Uh, as you see, our uh, our talent here, um, Alex, is uh, is not touching um, or is playing her musical instruments. She could also put this into auto mixing mode and it would automatically switch based on the tempo that she's producing in her music. So beat based, is it is it is it also movement based? So so we have another uh, option of another switching mode called video follows audio, really more built around the. Uh, the interview. Uh, so, as say, example, you and I are talking. Uh, your microphone is input on microphone one. My microphone was input on microphone two. And as you talk, it automatically switches to your camera. And when because, I talk, because microphone one would be connected to input video correct. input one. Yeah, you could map it to any of them. But for the sake of this conversation, yes, okay. you're a camera one. I'm camera two. You're microphone one, I'm microphone two. And as we, as we talk, it automatically switches between the two cameras. Uh, but what's also very interesting about it is when both of us talk, or when neither of us talk, it switches to the wide shot or the two, the two shot of, the, of, the, of both of us talking, all automatically. Glad we've eliminated the director in the whole thing. <laughs> is that you? Maybe. OK. Uh, but uh, so what else is, I see audio effects. So we also have some audio effects. 
So we have uh, the classic reverb, uh, where you can change the microphone. Uh, we have sound effects, background music. Uh, those could be uh, anything you want. So in the sound effect, we actually have a, a clap track, someone clapping. And in our background music, uh, we have like a stinger. So an intro or an outro to, uh, to your podcast. And then we also have the voice changer. We, the voice changer was really more built for the gamer. We know that a lot of gamers uh, spend lots of money building custom characters. And so they can now build a custom voice for their character. So I was joking when I said uh, narcissist uh, musicians, but you actually have built-in applause. We did, yes. Okay, great. So what does this, what is this uh, on-air uh, button mean? So, like, yep, so the on-air button is really your, uh, your confidence as the, uh, as the director to know if you're going out live to your live stream. Okay. So if you watch this monitor, when I turn this off, this laptop, when I disengage it, it uh, takes the video to black and mutes all the audio. And then when I want to go live on my live stream, I simply click on air. I think this is a really smart product, and I think you'll sell quite a lot of them. So thank you very much, Chris of Roland. This is NAM 2019, and KUCR out. <laughs>